As much as the new Miu Mini stock update has improved a lot of things about the system, there are still some things that can be improved on, such as the app section with Chinese language apps in them, and a file manager that I just can't use. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you an easy way to fix these problems, get a cleaner, easier to use system, and a file manager you can actually understand and use. So let's get started. There's nothing I'm going to be doing in this video that's rocket science, and some of you may already have done these things, but I'm sure there are some people that haven't thought of it, so this video is for you. What I'm about to show you assumes that you have upgraded your system to the latest April 2022 release of the stock firmware, and are running the stock front end rather than a custom front end. If you are running stock and need to upgrade to the latest firmware, then I've left a link to one of my previous videos below, which contains a walkthrough on how to do this, as well as links to where you can get the firmware. So having got that sorted out, let's move over to the computer. You're going to need to power off your Miu Mini, pop the card out, and put it into a card reader on your computer. Before we make any changes to the card, it's probably a good idea to make a backup of it, we aren't going to be making any major changes, but better safe than sorry. But I'll leave that decision up to you. Let's take a look at the directory structure on the card, and we'll compare the directory structure against what you actually see while using the Miu Mini. I'm going to sort the directories alphabetically. Right at the top is the app folder. Now let's compare the files in the folder with the Miu Mini, and you'll see there is a pretty clear one-to-one -one relationship. So if we don't want to see the game that's completely in Chinese, or the shutdown script, or open bore, or anything else that is in here, then all we need to do is remove it from here. Now I'm not suggesting you delete these, although you could. What I've done with my card is to create a new folder on the root of the card and called it useless apps. Obviously, call yours whatever you want. I've then dragged the apps I don't want to be in the app section to that folder. And that way I still have them, in the highly unlikely event I ever need them again. But they aren't sitting in my app section cluttering things up. So what did I actually move? Let's run through the list. The first to get moved was the Chinese language file manager. It's useless to me, as I have no idea which option is which. And if I guess and get it wrong, then I could really mess things up. So that went. The open bore app went, as did the PAL app. The open bore app, as it stands, just didn't seem worth keeping, and a game that's totally in Chinese is no good to me. The last thing was the shutdown app, or power as it's called here. I mean, how many different ways of powering down do you need on one system? The power button works for me, and then Mio have also recently added a shutdown option in the settings section as well. I just don't need this, so that leaves me with the RetroArch folder and the swap skin folder both of which I definitely need. Now here's a problem. I need a file manager because of the way I store and use my ROMs. Here's what I mean. Whenever possible, I want to have all my ROMs for a particular system available to me at all times. Storage space permitting, of course. But I don't want clutter and having to scroll up and down a massive list trying to find what I'm looking for. So what I do is create a folder called All and put all the ROMs I might ever want to play or try out into that folder. And then I copy the small handful that I definitely want to play into the root of the ROMs folder for that system. So using Game Boy as an example, you see that I have a huge number of ROMs in the All folder, but only a small number in the main GB folder. And I do this just by copying the ones I want from the All folder and dropping them into the GB folder and I can delete them from the main folder if I ever complete them or I get tired of them. And I'll still have a copy in the old directory. But here's the problem. If I'm travelling, I have no way to do this, as now I don't even have the crappy Chinese file manager. So here's what I did to replace the Chinese file manager with its English equivalent. Having played around with Onion OS, I knew that they had already cracked this problem, so the quickest and easiest thing I found was simply to download Onion OS, and I've got a link in the description below. Unzip the download, go into their app folder, and copy the folder called 
commander underscore italic and paste it into the app folder on my Mew Mini card. So this is what my app folder looks like having done that. So let's take a look at how this looks on the Mio Mini. Going into the apps section, you can see that I now only have the apps that I want. And if I select the file manager, you'll see that it's now in English. So let's put this to the test. Going back into the Game Boy section and into the All folder, I'm going to select a game. Select Copy, and there it is. So now, finally, the file manager can be used and you can control your apps, your games, and your card structure while you're out and about. If you found this useful, then please subscribe to the channel for more like this. And if you haven't watched my other videos on the Mio Mini, then click on one of the ones that are shown on the screen to check them out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.